Hey sweeties, Carrie from Luxembourg here. I'm here to show you oh, just some uh, random little goodies that I picked up at my favorite little secondhand shop. Um, this is a little perforator, vintage one. I think it's so cute and it works. I tested it in the shop. I just need to, to give it a bit of an oil. I thought that's gonna look lovely on my desk. Um, I picked up several books. These cost um, a euro a piece. I love the uh, cover on this one. These ones are actually making it a bit dark. I'll move them. Now I love the cover on this one. Um, I love the green. And um, I can put some fabric over this because I'm not too keen on... Well, I mean, this could stay and I just put something on top of here. I'll think about it, but I really liked the size of it as well. And the cover, I mean, the papers inside are pretty uninteresting. And then I got these two, they're um, identical, <clears throat> and um, they have these black and white pictures which are absolutely not, I don't know, they're not my taste anyway, so if anybody wants some, drop me a message and I'll send you whatever animal you want me to send you. But, um, ah, no, there's too many lovely images out there so but the um, idea behind these two was I want to try the um, Nick the booksmiths and bohemian crafting laptop kind of thing now the covers aren't you know aren't super but I'll be either making a huge collage or covering them in fabric and I think for these ones for the purpose that I want to use these ones I will cover them in fabric so, you know, it's just the size, really. I like the size, and they're both the same, so there's no messing about. And then I found this, sweetheart. Oh, it's so dark in here today. Even though it's sunny outside, it's terrible. So this is just, um, yeah, a lawyer wrote this, and it's about uh, the wording, I think, in, yeah technical terms or not really the um it says code francaise vulgarisé i think it's a simple it's a simplified version of the um the codes of uh, notaries or something like that anyway these have a pages have a lovely lovely feel to them and a lovely patina um covers all right I'll think about this one but it's got um, some it's got an ink mark up here which I might be able to clean off and then the specialty of the day oh it's too dark let me see if I can move you around so you can get more light on the subject Doo -doo -doo. maybe that's going to be better so here we got book number one which was from 1901 and this was actually published in Luxembourg which is quite an unusual find because most books here uh, are German or French when they're this old. But this is beautiful the way it's, uh, you see that, can you pick it up, oh there we go. It's a beautiful cover and the spine and it's in pretty good condition and on the inside the writing is obviously the pre, or the German style pre-war. That's the type of writing there was. It's changed post-war. And there's some, uh, some exciting um, images in here. And I love these uh, kind of tables. And this, oh, isn't that fabulous? Definitely going to be copying this and scanning it in. Love that. Yeah, so there's lots of interesting bits and pieces like this as well. Postcard that I can scan in. Because I'm not going to be tearing these apart. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> when I get fed up of having them hanging around, I might. But um, no, I think they're quite precious, these ones. That's that one. And this one is from 1908. Look at the colour on that. That green is lovely. Okay. 
So the other books only cost like one euro. These ones were a tad a bit more expensive, but you know, not even worth uh, thinking about. So this is from 1908, similar to the other one. It's more, it's um, actually their school books. Although there's a lot more um, technical stuff in this one and a lot more illustrations and pictures. Just keep skipping them. Isn't that cool? <laughs> so that's that. You can get the idea. Oh, they do have trees in there too. Plants and animals. So let's see what they have at the back. Do they have some of those cool? <gasps> yes, they do. So here as well, teaching you how to address your envelope properly. And <laughs> that's cute. I'll be scanning these in. Yeah, that's cool. Very cool. Look at that. <gasps> oh, yes. <gasps> Love that. So, that's cool, cool. And then I picked up all these little beads for absolutely nothing. Well, not absolutely, but because these things are so expensive here in Luxembourg. I mean, oh, you pay like four euros for a little box like that. So, I didn't. That's those. And then, oh, which do I do first? I'll do this one first. Um, this is my commonplace notebook. So if you want to know what a commonplace book is, go over to Nick the Booksmith's um, channel. I'll link that below. She had a big fat commonplace book and she'll explain what a commonplace book is to you. I've been doing or using commonplace books all my life, but I just didn't know what to call them. So yeah, Nick put a name to it, but I thought, well, why don't I start making my own? So what it is, is just a simplified journal with lots of Little tuck spots, places for notes, every daily note, anything you need to write down, jot down, or little things to memorize. Oh, I love this little postcard. So I used um, some Tim Holtz and some of my B paper from Hackney & Co. And then the rest I used Nick's um, digital images and some book pages. And this is old vintage um, school books from Italy. There's a little tuck spot. I'm going to put a, a little bead in there or, um, you know what I mean, a hole and a little key or something to hold it down. This is also from Nick the Booksmith. I love this kit. And I love this picture as well, this moss. I love moss. And I just thought it went perfectly with the ferns here. And crinkly stuff and then more of Nick's papers and here's an envelope which I can always you know washi tape the heck out of it or you know stamp on it or mess around this is also Nick the booksmith vintage Italian notebook paper this is a piece of it's one of the um, front pages from an old book And here's a book page from a botanical book. There's a little tuck spot there. And there's some coffee dyed paper, some of the vintage Italian writing paper, and this spread here. This is probably my one of my favorite images from Nick the Booksmith's kit. I love that. I've used it in several other books. And then in this one, you know, I thought, well, am I always going to be taking this notebook all over the place or you know, will I need something smaller? I can't get that open, but let me see if I can slip through. Not, I need to put something else in here. I'm going to put ribbon in it, actually, so it wouldn't be so chunky. So that opens up. I'll just put a little leaf there. And then here's the little notebook that I can slip in my handbag. Just some vintage uh, botanical book pages on the front and back. And here it is again. I love these ones because they're double sided. And what I did is I backed it with, um, or put the front on and just carved out a frame for it. So I start with some crinkly, coffee stained. 
old book page, vintage ledger, little paper bag, some plain paper, and a B page, of course. And then we've got a little tuck spot here and a coin envelope there that I got from Liza, I think, Liza's craft shop. And then there's this. I just put a couple of beads there. They're also vintage. The lighting is so difficult this morning. And then we go out with the same things on the back. A little beehive. And then there's a tuck spot here. And that's that. So that's going to slide right in there. And then I'm going to put some ribbon in there to close it. And then we go out again with some little clips. So there's no lace in these, um, no fancy tags or anything like that, because this the purpose of this is really just to fill it up with daily things. Isn't that postcard cute? I had to put that in too. So and you know pockets can still be added when I run out or belly bands. Anything like that. Love this combination. And butterflies. And there's another tuck spot here and tuck spot there. Just follows out. Really um, wondering where I can get some of this green ledger paper from because I really love that and I could run out now. I think that was one of my last bits. So that's my commonplace book. Well, notebook, because I didn't want to do a big book because I figured there's a tuck spot in here as well, and that's the back cover. Um, I figured if I straight away do a big fat book, I won't write in it the way I write in my usual commonplace book. So I thought I'll make myself a notebook. So that's the notebook size commonplace idea. Now we go for a groundbreaking monumental moment. I got this package from, I don't know if you can read that, I've had a dream. Now Denise, I guess, I, I'm pretty sure this is the first time that you've delivered to Luxembourg. I can pretty, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the first time. So this is monumental. So let's see what I bought and I'll show you. Oh, thanks for delivering this Denise, this is lovely. Now obviously, yeah, the postage was yeah, it's not cheap because she does do it registered um but i can't get a hold of these things in luxembourg at all um so sometimes it's just worthwhile to yeah bite the bullet and they're otherwise the items are cheap cheap enough to um yeah just compensate for the postage so oh i think I think she sent me some extras. Oh my goodness. So, oh look at this, way it's wrapped up. I hope I don't tear anything. Oh. Why, how am I going to do this without tearing anything? Oh, perfect. That went easy enough. So, let's see. Yeah, I bet um, Denise Googled Luxembourg. <laughs> I put my order in. It's like, where the heck is Luxembourg? So I ordered some of this lovely lace trim. Look at that. This is going to be fun. And I don't have any cream eyelash trim, so this comes just perfectly for the journal that I'm making now. And these little, I have these little bags. I've been seeing them in everybody's journals. I was like, oh, I want some, I want some desperately. So, as, yeah, as you do, you go on the internet. Classing envelopes. Yay. Ooh, I love the sound of those. These are so cute. I ordered myself some of these too. The English ones. Focalization. Word of the day. Some plain cards, wonderful, I love these. Oh, and my tags, and this, oh, I can't wait to get using these. Wonderful, some tags, inventory tags, and this time card, yay. 
So, I mean, I ordered enough so that it's worthwhile spending the, um, the money on the postage. Because this will do me for a while now, all of this. And there's those bags. Now this, this is something I didn't order. So, let's see. Oh, just look at how cute. Oh, Denise, that's lovely. I'm all excited. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What have we put in here? <gasps> oh gosh, look at this flower. That's super. That's a big eyelash trim. That's actually exactly the color I need right now for a project that I've been working on. These cute little tags. <sighs> Oh, thank you, Denise. This is so cute. You're so generous. Lovely little tickets. Glassy envelopes. Oh, this is darling. Cool. I didn't see these when I went through your site, website. These are cool. I can see a second order at some some point later on down the road. Oh, I like these ones. I've got dark ones. I never I never had one of these lighter colours. The ones I have a craft card. So these are nice. I like the yellow index card. Oh, that's cool because there's nothing on the back. A couple of doilies. I mean, if you guys would see the doilies, we only get two types of doilies. Here in Luxembourg, small ones and big ones, and they're always the same. Oh, I love this because ah, oh, that's exactly the colours that I'm. You see the colours there? That sort of greyish, teal, bluish mix on the leaves and the flowers, and then the pink of the roses. Oh, Denise, you're so kind. This is going to be perfect with, oh yeah, love this fabric. Oh, cool. I have one of these um, bunt cake. Well, I've actually got a couple. And I, I've never used them because I, every time I, I used it two or three times and the whole cake just stuck in the thing. I think I didn't cook it long enough because I wasn't used to them. So, and I didn't really have a recipe for bundt cake or <gasps> jumbo pound cake. Oh gosh, I used to love pound cake when I lived in the US. Oh, that's wonderful, Denise. Thank you very, very much. Um, all these uh, little extra goodies are, oh, you're so generous. So, that was the groundbreaking news. Denise, a tattered dream, made her first uh, sale to Luxembourg. Well, I think it was anyway. I'll tag. Denise's shop down below and Nick the Booksmith uh, about her commonplace journals. And that's it for today. Um, I'll see you tomorrow with a journal. Thanks for watching. Bye.